In this video, we will be demonstrating how to calibrate a uh, test indicator. This is a dial test indicator. Um, it reads in uh, tenths. Uh, first, most important piece is fixturing and getting this set up. Go with right about there. And I can see more than what the camera sees, but uh, if I put the camera in the way, it makes it hard for me to see it. So this is the best view I could come up with. We set the gauge. I will loosen this and drop it down. And this allows me with this fixturing to do uh, push and pull on our gauge. So getting the height set. Go down just a bit. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Let's check this side. That's fine. All right. Make sure it's all nicely locked in. These test indicators, you can, uh, they measure in both directions. Backwards, if you push on that tip, it measures. And forwards, if you pull on the tip, it'll measure. So we gotta check both. We gotta do history, so it's gonna repeat in both directions. So you're gonna go uh, all the way back, and then come back to zero, and then come all the way forward in this side, and then come back to zero. So we'll start by pushing back, get that just touching, and then I'll set that zero. The measuring face should be just about contact, and we'll go right about there. Zero. We don't need to get a hold of this. Gently touch that. This is where a good fixturing really helps. Okay. We'll get it roughly right, and then I'll just adjust this anyway. And so coming up on it, we'll get up to zero. And I'm perfectly aligning my head with the, with the needle covering up the number. Good. Come back and check my zero. I like it, and I'm reading the Indy check. It's good. All right, I like it. Um, so we'll take our first reading, and we'll go up to uh, a thou. So we'll index forward. I guess, or a tenth. Oh, no, that is a thou. So driving the Indy check until it reads a thou. Reading the gauge, and it is dead on. I'll see if I can't come back. So we get, that's roughly the angle you want to see from, and you can see that that's doing a pretty good job. So I'll just hold this in this position for a minute, and we'll go to two. Coming back up, coming up, coming up, driving it to two, and two. And we can take the reading and see that it is dead on two thousandths. And come all the way up to its full scale, and we'll just say that that's four. Drive that indie check all the way and take our reading. It's looking pretty good once you get dead on. You gotta kinda check to, for parallax error. And then we'll begin to come back to our original zero. Taking data points on the way up and on the way down. And keep going, keep going, keep going, and return. And we'll check our zero. Zero is pretty good. Then we'll come over here and do this same test, but pulling, making sure that face is barely contacting that the head, the measuring tip. You don't want to hit the shaft up there. I'm going to come back around some once it begins to read. Just indexing. I 
even close. There we go. Right about there. Set the camera up. Oops. That will come in here, Terra Zero. Coming towards. How much will I be driving? All right, so a continuation of the other video. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, to now test this test indicator calibrate the test indicator uh, by pulling it forward using the ND check and its fixturing. Fixturing looks like this. So it is now pulling forward on this tab, on the stem, pushing forward. So it comes off and comes forward. X forward and set zero. Coming up and come back and come check it one more time. It's looking good. All right, moving to a thou. And driving the Indy check and reading the UUT. A thou, we go to two. I passed it, so I'm going to come back and slowly approach that two thou. Looking good. We go to four. And you can go beyond it, but for this video, we're just going to stop right here. Four is looking just, just a little past it, but still reads four thousandths. And then we'll come back and check our zero. Zero. Still zero. We can come up and check histories. It's back to one. We can come past it and come back here as well. For repeatability. Come up on it. Take a reading. It's looking good. Uh, so in the other video, we did the uh, the back calibration, and in this video, we're doing the forward calibration. So. Uh, that concludes the, the calibration of this test indicator.